cable press pull. Now, this exercise requires a cable unit where you can adjust the width of the unit, where the cables are coming from. You want to set them quite far apart um, and about shoulder level. This is where the cable is coming, shoulder level to me. I'm going to face to the equipment. You're going to grab the cable unit with one arm and the other one as well. And then what you do is you rotate yourself, so you end up, end up pulling with one arm and pushing with the other. So make sure your foot is nice and symmetric, keep your very, very stable your pelvis, so there's no rotation of the pelvis while you're doing this. Keep the pelvis straight, but allow your spine to rotate, and you push and pull simultaneously. See my trunk is rotating, but my pelvis is not, so keep the pelvis straight. See my, my forearm um, while I'm pulling is watching that it doesn't start to bend. Keep your, uh, your wrist nice and straight. You're also looking nice and straight. Now from the other side, when you switch sides you actually don't really have to um, uh, switch the cable unit, you just simply switch yourself. Okay. Now when you're doing this exercise, I'm going to show you uh, in a different position, just simply so you see the pushing aspect of it, so I'm going to face outward. Now you're pushing and then take a look at the rotation of the spine, it's quite a bit of a rotation. So essentially you're exercising, you're pushing, you're pulling and a rotational pattern, which is a fantastic thing when you're able to combine three different patterns and do an exercise like this. But my wrists stay straight. Doesn't matter if I push or pull. So this was the cable press pull.